Hello, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Muskogee suspect Jaron Pigeon is due back in court two weeks from today after an arraignment yesterday where he was charged with six counts of murder in the first degree. The court entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. Police say that he was the one who called 911 early Tuesday morning requesting an EMS to the home where multiple children were found dead. At a vigil for the family last night, we learned that Brittany Anderson, the mother of the five children who were killed, is awake and she is aware of the situation. A GoFundMe for the children's funeral expenses has already surpassed its $35,000 goal. And as people came together to remember the victims in Muskogee, over in Sand Springs, another candlelight vigil for the two little girls and their mother killed this weekend in what police are calling a murder-suicide by their father. The community there coming together to pray and reflect on the tragic loss of life. And with COVID-19 having killed more than 3,600 Oklahomans in less than a year, we're taking a look at the continued effort to get the state immunized against the virus. Commissioner of Health Lance Fry says that by the end of this week, half of Oklahomans over the age of 65 will have received their first dose. Big changes in the weather department. Let's toss it over to meteorologist Clint Boone to get the latest on that. Clint. Thank you very much, Mike. Yeah, we've got a cold front that's going to be blowing across the area during the morning hours. Winds are going to be howling out of the northwest with some winds gusting to about 40. We're going to start off pretty mild in the mid 50s by the end of the day, only upper 40s to near 50 heading into tomorrow quieter conditions mid 50s rain chances return for Saturday much colder for Sunday might be a wintry mix heading into Monday but sharply colder Arctic air moves in Monday Tuesday Wednesday highs only in the 20s with overnight lows in the teens Ooh, Clint thank you very much well that's a look at some of the stories making headlines for you today of course stay with two works free for updates throughout the day we'll see you again soon